Hey girl, welcome back. Today I'm doing a Sephora sale haul. I'm gonna show you what I picked up during the sale so far, so let's get into this haul. Thank you Sephora and Magic Lings for partnering with me on today's video. Starting with some skincare, I did want to pick up the Glow Recipe Blur Drop. This product is described as skincare and makeup like a two-in-one product. You can use it as part of your skincare routine and also you can use it as a primer for makeup. It's supposed to help blur pores and also refine your pores. It also has salicylic acid, I'm pretty sure, so it's going to help with acne-prone skin, which I have. I'm definitely excited for it. It says that it blurs pores in 30 seconds with this treatment and primer in one. You could use it after your skincare routine, both night and morning. I did use this today as my primer and I will have a video on Tuesday where I share with you guys all the products that I use today which are everything that I'm going to show you so you can see everything in a tutorial. Next I got the new Pat McGrath bronzer. I love Pat McGrath. I love trying out her products so when I saw this was launching I had to have it. So this is the bronze without caution glamorous glow and regal radiance bronzer i picked this up in the shade bronze mahogany and i do feel like they can use a couple more shades in this bronzer to be honest because i feel like this is the only shade that would work for deeper complexions but i definitely want to try it because it's pop McGrath, and also the packaging is just so pretty like the pink her packaging is always like 10 out of 10 okay so and the products as well the products are usually really good i'm gonna look on her site really quickly just to make sure i'm not missing something on the actual Pat McGrath website, there is a shade that I didn't see at Sephora, so I'm thinking that shade would be better for me. This one was a little bit deep when I tried it, so you guys will see me apply it and see how it looks. It looks really nice, but I felt like I can use a different shade as well. So, so I'll probably end up ordering this shade. If it's not at Sephora, then I'll just order it on her website. So this is the bronzer. I did pick up another one size concealer, girl. Okay, so here's the thing. I lost the shade that I had at the hotel last weekend. So I picked up this one in the shade Dark 2. Prior to losing Dark 4, I did want to try a different shade in general because I was using two shades, one a little bit lighter, one darker to try to get my perfect match. So I wanted to try something else. I got Dark 2, which is a red tone i thought maybe that one would give some more brightening and also a little bit of like color correcting at the same time honestly i may pick up a new dark four even though i got this one because dark four it just matched so well for days where i want to look like i'm not really wearing makeup it's the perfect color for me so i may still get it but i wanted to try this as well i picked up the nars soft matte complete concealer i haven't used this in years i'm talking like four five years it's been a while but this used to be one of my go-to concealers like at the time when i did use it i had repurchased it like 10 times and maybe i'm exaggerating but maybe like three four times but i really really did love it recently i saw jaleesa using this on tiktok and i definitely wanted to repurchase it so I got the shade Amand which is medium dark three this is the shade that I used to use when I did use it seeing her use it on TikTok made me want to repurchase it so I picked this up and I did use it for my brows today and we love i did get a lip oil i have been eyeing this for a while and it finally made it to sephora it was sold out on their site the jisu site for a while and i believe it came to sephora maybe a couple weeks ago so i threw it right into my cart i've been really enjoying jisu products lately like i love the hair perfume i love their um, leave-in conditioner and I also have been really loving their hair oil so I wanted to try the lip oil as well I did apply it today before doing my lip color and I really liked it so this one is in the color honey gold it just looks like clear on your lips but it does have a nice like honey aroma can we get a moment for the bottle it's so like aesthetically pleasing I just love how minimal yet funky it is and also it's pink so you know i've had my eyes on this tom ford perfume ever since it dropped a few months ago i wanted to get it during the spring sale because it is described as a fruity floral i thought it would be perfect for spring and summertime and i love it okay i definitely smelled it already because i couldn't wait like what so this is the bottle here and it's called electric cherry if you're familiar with lost cherry from tom ford i believe this is like an extension of that line they came out with two other cherry scented fragrances a few months ago and this one i really really like lost cherry i felt like was a little bit too cherry for me this one is a perfect balance of cherry and other like fruity floral notes so i really love it i definitely get a nice hint of cherry but it's also really nice and floral and fruity at the same time it smells beautiful you definitely have to smell this in person i can't really describe it it's like a cherry 
mixed with a little bit of a floral and like a fruity note. I'll have the notes on the screen so you can see like more in detail. It's giving bougie as hell. It's giving mind your business. <laughs> If you know, you know. Definitely love this and I'm excited that I got it during this little sale. I got another bronzer. This one is a cream bronzer from Tower 28. And this is their Sculptino Soft Contour Cream. Well, it's actually a contour, not a bronzer. But it's a neutral tone and it's a cream product. It's really beautiful. I got the shade Simon in this bronzer. And again, I did use it today and I thought the shade was perfect. I really like the consistency of it. Also, the shade is neutral. So you're not going to get any like red redness or orange ness orangey orange tones <laughs> so yeah definitely love this and I love how like sleek and compact it is it's perfect for travel during the summer like in my mind I was picking up products that I can use during the summertime that was kind of like my theme or my idea behind these products so I got a lot of things I felt like would work really well for the summertime Speaking of summer, I got the new Danessa, well not new, but I got a Danessa Merrick's blush in Golden Hour. This color, this is a beautiful orange tone color. I absolutely love it. I did get another shade last month called Prima Donna Obsessed, so I had to get this one as well. And I just love, love, love this tone. It work, This tone is beautiful on deeper skin tones. And I love orangey colors, especially in the spring and summertime. So had to get this. And I love the um, Yummy Skin formula as well. She has a blushes. She has a primer in this formula as well as like a foundation. And they all look and work beautifully. This blush also blurs out your skin. It's like a matte formula. It's not like super dewy it's definitely like a soft matte formula which i love miss rihanna came out with the new mascara and i had to get it i'm not one who buys a ton of mascaras i kind of just stick to what i like but when fancy drops something chances are i'm getting it this is the new hella thick volumizing mascara and it's safe to say i love her i tried it today I felt like it did all the things it said it was going to do, lengthen, darken, thicken, like everything, you know. So I definitely love the wand on this. I definitely love the packaging and love the style of wand on this mascara. So love it so far. You guys want to see it in action? Stay tuned on Tuesday. Next up, I got this Emmy Cole powder. You guys told me to try something from Emmy Cole and I could not decide what to try. So I went with the powder because I was looking for a new loose powder anyways. And this one is in the shade Rich Deep, is their Skin Melt Loose Powder. I do wanna try the yellow tone as well. This one I feel like looks really nice all over my face, but I wanna try the yellow for brightening like under my eye and my forehead. So I'm gonna get the yellow tone as well, probably today. I definitely wanna try more from the brand. I know you guys said the lip oils are really good and I believe the concealer. I think somebody said the concealer as well. So I do want to try some more products, but this is what I picked up so far. I had to get the Makeup by Mario lip products. These are the Moisture Glow Lip Plumping Colors. I got two shades. I got Hot Pink and Smoky Pink. And I think they look really pretty. I love the lip balms. So I definitely knew I would love these. And I do. So I do have this shade on today. Hot pink with a brown lip liner. And I think it looks beautiful. So far we love. Anyways, that is it for my Sephora haul. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you're getting down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.